represent Alabama's second congressional district, and I, along with your congressman, Alan West, are part of the historic freshman class that helped win back the majority. So we can start putting forth common sense solutions with Paul Ryan's leadership to, to get our country back on track, and I also serve with your very own Connie Mack. I tell you what. These are folks that have stepped up to the plate time and time again to demonstrate the very leadership that Barbara was talking about in the U.S. House of Representatives. And we've got to carry that on in the next two years under Mitt Romney's leadership as the next president of the United States. And I know you guys down here are not immune, of course, to all of the ads that are painting a picture of the deceit and the lies about the direction that we want to see this country go. Here's our choice. Our choice is you elect Barack Obama and Medicare goes bankrupt. He's the one who's robbed it. Or you can elect Mitt Romney and Paul Ryan and we can turn this fiscal ship around and restore fiscal sanity and save this country from my kids and yours. Now, let me just say, I come from a city council background. I was on the city council in Montgomery for seven years. And here's where I want to encourage all of you. You're here this morning because you love the state of Florida and you love the United States of America. But I want to tell you that everything that you do between now and the time the polls close on Tuesday can make the difference in this election. When I ran for city council, I was one of six candidates. I was 26. And I was the only one who thought I could win. And I went out there and I outworked everybody and I knocked on doors, but it was the volunteers in my campaign that helped me touch all of those voters. And we won. And you can do that too right here. Get out the positive message. We are counting on you. And I appreciate you. And I just want to tell you on behalf of my husband, Riley, and our two children, Margaret and George, thank you. Thank you for your commitment to getting us back to the values that this country was founded on. God bless each and every one of you. Thank you for your commitment to America. Let's go win this thing. Woo!